Okay, welcome. Um, number day three now, you know, out here. So I'm going to be uh, laying this wall in on behind you here. Uh, the one behind me was what I was doing yesterday. I've still got two courses to go on top of that. But let me turn you around. So this is the one I'm setting out today. So I've just laid the blocks down there roughly at the moment. So I'm going to build this corner up. Uh, I'm going to put a line in first and then build this corner up and keep going up till I get to the same height as this corner and then um, join that wall up together in one level and then I can start to build the apex after but I need to get this wall in as well now as you'll notice the keen ones of you will notice these blocks are wider okay they're the same height and the same length but they are wider in the depth in this way uh, let me show you they're wider this way okay and the reason for that is in this wall here we've got a big window or a one large window or possibly two smaller windows but that's fluid again <laughs> but here we've got a doorway okay so what that means is a lot of this wall inside is taken out there's probably 20 blocks or more not going to go in there so that therefore it makes the wall structure a little bit weaker so what we do is we put a bigger wider block down um, to compensate for that to give it a bit more stability and strength and then obviously in the lintels above the windows and doors tying them in and then on top when the wall's finished off on the top we'll put a nice wall plate in there uh, probably a six inch 150 mil and um, wall plate and tie that down onto the wall uh, to give it strength and that's the same with over this side here I'll put a wall plate on top of there and then put some straps over and tie it into that wall tightly anyway so moving on the pace I reckon I reckon I'll have all these walls up and done by the end of next week and it's Saturday today so the end of this week coming I mean and so probably six seven days in here and this will all be up and done well all the block work will be <laughs> anyway let's crack on Perfect. Good, 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 good. So you see what I'm doing there? I'm working to this line, okay? Just working to this line, this line's level. It goes from wall to wall. And all I do is just 
put the blocks down I don't punch them down or nothing bang them down nothing just let them down just check their level across that way and a little tip if say there was say this was up this way this was going down this side then all you do is you just touch the bottom of the block push your finger and that block will twist and turn on its spot but they don't need to do that because they're in place now um, so I'll just carry on hello folks funny angle isn't it <laughs> I'll just have it I'm up here having a chat with my shadow I'll show you hang on turn you around hello that's my shadow <laughs> now I'm up on the wall that I built so you can see but I want to give you a perspective of the size of the kitchen so I built this corner up now come up to this level that opening there is going to be the doorway going out because this floor comes up raises up so that'll be the doorway out and then here we're going to have a oh, I'm toying now with a Venetian window and if you don't know that is it's a box sash window but Venetian style so look it up I've made many of them in the past but um it's a lovely size isn't it I've just run that course in there a couple of courses down there and built this corner up uh, I'm gonna have some lunch now and then get another mix going and then carry on where my string line is just coming up on there and building them corners up uh, this wall I'm on now this one I'm standing on uh, I've got another two courses to go on this um, so let me have a little walk down here without falling off <laughs> So it's well dry. It's been up to two days this side. Yeah, two days now. So it's nice and solid. So we're gonna have a doorway coming out through there. It's just uh, it's coming together now. You can start to see it. Just in this video alone, you get a perspective of how things move along quickly once you get going. And uh, it would be a lot quicker <laughs> if I had someone labouring mixing up for me. But Tracy can't because she's busy with other things. But, uh, so I'm having to mix it myself and she has loaded me out with a few blocks though so I must say um, she basically done all them actually so anyway thought you'd like that view that was my little perch I was standing on right there <laughs> I don't know where you came from but this road is yours to trail Made to mold into a song that sung before your day Bonjour everyone, hope you're all well um, Welcome to my temporary potting station and today I've actually got a really lovely job I'm going to be potting on the lavender cuttings which we took from our lavender fields and the ones I've done are the grosso which you can see here some of them haven't taken we've had casualties but that's all part of growing but there's enough here for us to obviously get the next rows of lavender which will probably be um, the end of next May in 2024 because we've just got to make sure that the frost um, has passed and also over here this is absolutely a beautiful lavender and this is the um, ph phenomenon we've obviously not done phenomenal is it phenomenal or phenomenal? Phenomenal, yeah. I always call it phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Oh. Phenomenal. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so I've probably got three, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's about 60 plants there, which is more than enough for us to um, get our lavenders established. So that's probably roughly about two rows we'll get of lavender of them now what I've done is I've used um, BBG which is Budo's black gold which I've got over here if I can show you and what I've done is a 50 50 mix so that's 50 a 50 mix of um, the compost and also the sand so if you're using a pot you just make sure your mix is half and half because we put sand in it's fantastic for when you're potting on and good for obviously drainage as well so and also let me tell you about these 
our little propagators because what's going to happen is obviously we're coming out of summer we're going to be going into autumn so once i've potted the lavenders up i've got some here i've done already make sure you give them a good water and i'm just going to put sit the propagator on top and what would and just twist it so it stays on and then what we're going to do is we're going to put them in a shaded area and then we will cover them with the horticultural fleece probably double up it depends um how cold they are and then they yeah can just as the winter comes then, yeah, yeah then they can overwinter then can't they yeah, yeah. so i've got these are roughly five inch pots so just fill the pot up i pinched budo's um peg and i'm Draw just going to make a little well in the center oops pull my plug out oops some of them might be a little bit loose but i wouldn't worry too much push it down and let's just give it good water put it over here and then put the propagator plugs on so i'm going to continue potting all of these up in the same manner and then once i've come to near the end <coughs> you can join me back and i'll just talk about what's coming up in the future um regarding the lavender as yeah, well. yeah just one quick note yeah um the thing is when you do your own cuttings these are heel cuttings off the uh, side growths yeah um they save you a lot of money if you get them up to this because all these have rooted here yeah and each plant was costing us what was about pounds of Pound, one euro yeah, something one euro um 29 centimes. something like that yeah. yeah so if we've got 70 or 80 here and Times we've got that. more up the land yeah. a few hundred that's a, a two or three hundred euros you're saving yeah, which is a lot of money and then next year you do it all again yeah. you know? i've actually taken some cuttings as well um for us yeah. for myself because i want oh, for to, the front garden yeah for the front garden and just here as well these are not lavender but you did some cuttings didn't you of the lonicera japonica which is honeysuckle honeysuckle i love that it's my favorite it smells absolutely beautiful and i've got five six hydrangea cuttings which have taken as well so Lovely. i'll be putting them up so i'll see you back soon welcome back everyone um as you can see if you want to and over here my cameraman <laughs> i've um potted on now all the phenomenal no, 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 no. you got it right that time <laughs> phenomenal they're all potted up now they've had a good water and now i'm going to be transplanting all the grosso seedlings into all these pots i've pre put all the soil in because i've just done three barrel loads of compost and sand put all the holes in and now the next stage is putting all the seedlings in so i think what we might do is put that on speed ramp yeah. because i think that'll be a bit monotonous find it if you keep seeing that. yeah you're just the same old but we'll, we'll speed you can speed through it yep and uh it's oh, a big I job you're getting done massive job. because it um next year next growing season yeah we'll, we'll put these in the ground yeah we'll have the beds ready through the winter yeah and then uh We've got another approximately five rows here yep. of lavender. And also, I think now, because obviously we're a bit unfortunate here, we do have frost up until the end of May. So yeah. I think we'll judge how the weather is and then hopefully they should be in by the end of yeah. May, if not the beginning we're of We're quite lucky though that we don't get the hard frost, do no. we? It's a frost, a quick frost, normally a day or two and it's gone. But And we've had it in the winter where we've had the frost and then the sun comes out it's, yeah it's just so unusual isn't it it's yeah. like you get two or three seasons in one day
welcome back everyone all the lavender is now all transplanted into new pots next job for me to do is put all the propagators on get them all in our trays and then get them in a place where we don't have to move them and then once the cold weather comes we'll keep them all nice and warm and then next year we'll hopefully have some mature plants I just want to say um, I've also cut all the lavender flowers, the stems, I cut them about a couple of weeks ago. They're all drying now above the temporary workshop and in what's going to be my craft woman cave. We don't <laughs> call them woman caves, we call it craft. Craft rooms come slash bedroom, whatever. Um, they're all in there, so what I'm going to be doing is stripping all the flower heads off the stems putting them into lavender sachets i have they will then go up for sale on in our etsy shop so i'll put that link on the patreon page but i've already sent to patreons who are in the 950 tier and up their own um, personalized lavender sachets so hopefully wherever you are in the world they should be with you within the next few weeks All right, Trace, you've been busy. <laughs> Just unloaded all of these. We put so, them on speed ramp, but I was working normal speed. Yeah, normal speed. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. I had to load them all on, so yeah. I know what it's like. I know what your pain is like. And we say we share the jobs. Yeah, we? we share the jobs. <laughs> Trace has done really well, actually. She's quite I've strong. Got four. got four left. Yeah. So four on a trailer. And on there was a total of... I'll tell you now, it was, it's 1.6 tonne per pallet. Yeah. Uh, and there was one and a half of the small and a half of the big. So there was two pallets. So there was about two and a half tonne or just over. And you felt that? Because it weren't quite a two pallet. Uh, it was a, yeah, it just wasn't quite. I think it was about just two tonne. Point two or something. I can carry two of these when I bring them in to you, but these are a little bit heavier, aren't they? The double blocks. Yeah, these these little ones. These are the six inch or 150 mil, and then these are yeah 200 mil. Yeah. And the reason we had 200 mil because they go on that wall where the uh, windows and the door is, so it com doesn't compromise the uh, strength or the yeah. movability of it. Because you know when you bang a door and all that, yeah, it moves. Yeah, you're cutting a big piece of the wood you're leaving out a big bit of the block work aren't you the yeah. strength so yeah that's one so well done trace now bring them all in <laughs> all at once <laughs> no no we'll bring them in we'll bring them in as we need them but uh Shout they're off the trailer so we've got the trailer free again again for sand and other bits um i've got so, my propagators on well yeah no we'll uh we've got i'm just going to go in here yeah. and show them on the uh where i'm up to right uh so let's go through let's grab a block while i'm in uh, so we have to traipse them all the way through here, then out here. 
but I've just done the last bit of this big wall here at the back here so that's the finished height now on there uh, if you can see I'll just turn me put me in shelf so you can see it's quite high okay uh, so I'm gonna cut that one in now set it then I'm gonna carry on building up this corner like I said before and that's what you do basically you you walk you work to a, a corner you know you walk corner to corner and you fill in the space and go up so I'll get that level the same come around here determine the window where they block size roughly where the window opening is and that's the doorway so once I determine all that I can put the lintels in and uh, then once that's up I can work on the apex and build the apex but so Tracy's done very well she really does work hard and uh, now we can go and get the blocks in Bonjour to you all, I hope you're all well. Today's job for me, or part of my job today, is to carry on bringing all these um, blocks in for Budo. Um, things are progressing so quick, it's unbelievable. Let's go and see what Budo's up to and how far he's got. Shut the porch door, that is just going to be so great in the winter when we could just shut the porch door and keep all the heat in the house it's going to be lovely bonjour budo hello how are you getting on all right yeah yeah um i'm on the home run now on this wall so this is uh this is the finished height right so this is this is where the height is but on here there's going to be an apex yep okay which goes up to about just above my trail, a bit more maybe. Uh, so it's a low, slow, low sloping apex with a ridge board going into the wall on that side. So let me show them. Where that big stone is on the corner of the right hand side bottom of the window. Yep. That's just above that I think it goes. Yep, so just there. Or just around there, but coming just over here. this way to, to your, uh, as you're looking at it, to your right. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Let me just show them how quick the walls are going up it's just absolutely amazing i know we're a long way off from having a kitchen but you're just you're getting that sense and inspiration of knowing what it will look like so this wall is going up um, hang on let me just come around this side i'm gonna say yeah i'm gonna say about what we're doing as well for people who are doing this type of work um if you're having to go yourself on each corner, the, the brick, uh, the blocks are designed. On each corner, they have a hole in them, right? Some of them, and they're corner blocks. What we call corner blocks. These ones, right? And they've got a big square hole, and you line up all them all the way down. So this hole goes all the way down to the floor to the bar. There's a little bar there, right? And same on all four corners. I'll go and show them the blocks yeah. in a minute. So if you look at that corner, you can see the bar sticking up. Look, Trey, slowly round. Yep. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. Right, that'll come up centre. That's just uh, loose in there at the moment. So what we do is... Is that acts as a tie, does yeah, it? Yeah, it's or? like a tie. Ties the, uh, it's a bit of a requirement they like in France. They like this, and I think in England as well. But um, what we do is we put the bars down there. We'll actually put two on each one. And then we'll pour concrete inside there all the way down. So it makes that corner really strong and solid, all four corners. Um, and then when I do the apex of the roof structure, like I did in the porch, I'll do what we call a collared yep. apex roof. So the, the one that goes on that wall will be fixed to that wall and it'll be a collared. So it, it won't want to go like this. Yep. It will just sit down. The so weight one, will sit yeah. straight down, yeah? And the ridge being in the wall as well and the ridge sitting on this wall will create the strength of the roof. Yeah. So the roof is pushing down in the centre but its weight is pushing down on the ends. It's not wanting to spread. Yeah, because once you put will stop that. tiles on, that's quite a weight, it, isn't yeah. it? But this is this is this is height now. Fantastic. So, uh, I'm happy I've got there. It's day six now. Just this morning started. I've only laid in these couple of blocks just to start. Uh, more time. It's been more time getting the sand and the, mixing it all up. Um, and then I'm going to build this corner over here, Trace, where the mm -hmm. doorway is. This I wanted to just show them these blocks. So you can see where the window is. Well, that's the height of the window there to your left. Yep. See here, Trey? Here? Yeah. Yep, here. That's where I'm looking. Yep. That's that's the height. And then it's coming over to 
see that's two blocks in from the doorway yep it's just about third, uh, three quarters onto the second block yeah you can start the window opening there you can see where you've marked and it the door next to it and then this is the door and this is the blocks that Buddha was talking about which has the hole in and they're very heavy because I unloaded them all off the trailer <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I didn't have my wheat bix that day either yeah. so but fantastic building that then corners up today hopefully I'll get them finished then we're waiting for the wood yep. to turn up um, which is going to slice down now because we are just literally waiting for that to turn up and then I can start constructing the roof get it covered get it felt and battened and then uh, then we're ready to secure this i have to start as well jet spraying this off don't i yeah, yeah. well we're gonna that... get the tower in tomorrow yeah sometime and then we'll start you can get clearing up here and, and then i have to start point. pointing it's them best be... to point it before we get the roof on yeah but we we might be waiting a week or so for the timber anyway yeah. because it's being hand cut for us or machine cut for us because yeah. i want the pacific sizes um so Lovely. we've moved on a pace this week we've had a really hard week this week yeah Tracy's been loading out a lot of blocks. There's six tonne of blocks here now, um, and cement, uh, sand. And I've been laying them every day, uh, except for when we're going to have done a bit of shopping or something, haven't they? Yeah, we've done anyway. a Okay, folks, so uh, this is day seven. Uh, I actually finished it yesterday on day six, uh, but I just wanted to show you uh, this last bit we did here which is where we're going to have the window opening you can see the cuts out on the top i've got to do one more over there just cut that out and then i could put the concrete lintels in and then the wall plate on top um and that's the doorway with the, for the two lintels to go above so that's the size everything's done now um so at last <laughs> i'm going to do this next bit here in the next day or two i've got no rush now because i'm still going to be waiting a week or so for the uh, timber to come for the roof as i said earlier um tracy just loaded out these ready um and i'm just going to reset up the band stands to do that side because i had to break them down to do this side with the short boards anyway so moving on the pace uh ain't bad going is it for a, a carpenter to uh lock this up in a uh, well six days it took me six days so far i'm going to have another day doing that apex at least so seven days of block work which i think and including the footing down here which we did here but anyway so i digress come and join us um next week see how we're getting on and i want to just say a big thank you from me and tracy uh for um to our patrons and the new patrons that have joined us yeah we really appreciate it and um you know thank you very much and look forward to getting you you know giving you good videos in, in the future and things to inspire you maybe uh people who want to come to france and live or want to do this sort of stuff you know you can do it yourself if you put your mind to it anyway 